welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my first YouTube video and I am so excited to get started on this YouTube journey with everyone and just start creating content, content for busy moms and just share some of my tips and tricks on what I do to keep up with my schedule, my busy mom life, and just some cleaning motivation. If that interests you, go ahead and like and subscribe down below. In this video, I'm going to be focused on doing my laundry and cleaning my living room. This video is actually part of a two-part series where I'm going to show you how I clean and manage my tasks on a daily basis. The first thing I do um, in, in the mornings is start my day off with coffee. I love, love coffee. Um, here I got the Starbucks Blonde Roast and I just added a little bit of oat milk from Trader Joe's. I love this oat milk because it has brown sugar in it and I love how thick this tastes. Sometimes I get oat milks and they're a little watery but this one holds its thickness so it just hits just right. The first thing I start with is laundry. Laundry is one of those things that just pile up. If I don't get a little bit done throughout the week, next thing I know I have this huge pile of clothes in my room, my 11 year old's room, and then I have a big basket of clothes in the hallway. So it's always easier for me to get a couple loads done throughout the week. And being as busy as I am, I don't always have the time to sit and just focus on laundry. So this helps just to get a little bit done at a time. My favorite um, laundry products to use are the Kirkland brand laundry detergent. Now I used to love using Tide. I used to buy the Tide Pods and the liquid soap, but for me, I realized that you know buying it in bulk from Costco using the Kirkland brand was, was better on my pockets and I really liked it for cleaning clothes. After starting one load of laundry, I usually move to the dryer and get that stuff just thrown on the couch. Now, as you can see, can't just throw things on the couch because I gotta dust it off first. As much as you tell kids not to eat, not to drink, not to snack on the couch, they still do. So I had to give that a little dust before I actually got started with folding this blanket. Now, being a busy mom means that sometimes you're not cleaning as thoroughly as you would like to clean. I personally, sometimes I just give it a quick fold and then I just push it off to the side. I am a mom that has two jobs outside of being a mom and on top of that, I've got basketball practice, meal prepping, and then other clubs that I participate in. So I don't always have the time to sit and make everything as beautiful as I would like to make it but you know what I give myself some grace and I just move on and realize that right now might not be the time where I can make it as beautiful as I like but that's okay because there's always next time now I don't know about you all but I always need a playlist to do some cleaning too and I have the most diverse Spotify playlist that I know of I've got everything from soul to jazz to R&B to hip-hop to rock even to a little bit of country but this time I decided to clean to an R&B playlist so if you see me doing a little bit of dancing that is because Alexa has got some songs playing in the background and I think at this time of folding the sheet, I was listening to Candy Rain, which is one of my favorite songs. So if you see a little dancing, that's where that comes from. Now 
now moving on to shaking out those couch pillows and you might even see my little dog in the background yeah on top of everything that I do I do have a small dog and I just oh there I go it's going ahead and dancing I got the dog I got to clean up after so when I say I truly embody that busy mom life I really do gotta make sure I clean out those couch pillows you never know what's stuck between your couches and those of you who have a kid or kids you already know that you find the most wild stuff in your couches maybe you find gummy bears wrappers seaweed wrappers you name it you find the most random things in your couches <laughs> can't tell you how many times I found something that I don't even know how my son got or even how it even got there but you know that's kids for you got my dog in the way you know here I just decided to go ahead and sweep out the couch now sometimes I actually take a vacuum and I'll vacuum all that up after I sweep I think this time I just decided to sweep it all up get those crumbs out before I lay my pillows back down again this isn't the most thorough clean but it, it is my realistic clean and again being that busy mom sometimes you do what you can Now that I got the couch all clean, I go ahead and just let a little light into my living room. It was feeling a little dark before, but I love that light contrasted with the soft light that's right next to me. Just makes the space feel a lot more open and calming, welcoming. Also giving this a little bit of a dusting. Again, not the most thorough, but I do what I can and right here just decided to lightly dust especially around the windowsill where you get those dust mites all right now time to move on i see a couple other things that i'm gonna dust then i'm gonna get ready to go ahead and put that duster back and then just move back to sweeping and picking up everything around the living room still got my dog on the couch she is an inside dog she rarely goes outside so she usually gets a bath once a week my new year's challenge is to bathe her a little bit more just because my 11 year old does have allergies so i try to make sure that she's not bringing in anything that's gonna upset his allergies or make him sick so we really do need to bathe her a little bit more often especially when she's walking all over things so that is another challenge I'm gonna throw out myself this year so old school definitely love to sweep around the couches and make sure that I sweep under my my rugs and sweep around the high traffic areas so as I'm putting that laundry basket back definitely gonna take my quick coffee break and get ready to get those rugs You have kids and you're busy you know that things just accumulate everywhere so you pick up the most random stuff in your living room sometimes our apartment is very much lived in so sometimes you see nerf bullets on the ground and sometimes you see backpacks and school stuff just laying around just got to kind of work with it do what you can to pick it up and put it in its right spot but 
as a busy mom, we've got kids, so we know that we can pick up those things and they get right back to where they were. It's the life of being a mom. Uh-oh, here I go dancing again. Love my R&B playlist. I got some songs linked down below, so if you're interested in anything that I was listening to, go ahead and just look in the description and add a little something to your playlist. Am I the only one who likes to sweep in a pile and then get it all up? I've seen other people sweep and they tend to put it all in the dustpan and just like sweep into the dustpan as they go. I don't know why, it's always been a habit of mine to sweep in a small pile and get it all up at once. Usually I would use something like a Swiffer to get all the dust up and then a Swiffer wet jet. To do a quick mop I didn't do that this time because I had so many other things on my checklist that I wanted to get done so a quick sweep was just good enough for me right here in this moment sometimes I don't get to everything and again I don't clean as thorough as I want to but as a busy mom I definitely forgive myself for not being as thorough as I would like and I just go ahead do what I can promise to do better next time A little background we just moved to Texas so this apartment is still new uh, we haven't been in this apartment for a full year our goal is to definitely make it ours put some decorations in there make it a little bit more homey because right now it does look so empty I've ordered some things that I'm going to um, fill our place with like for one we're gonna have a deep freezer which is gonna help um, just help us to meal prep and not stuff everything in our smaller freezer so that's one thing that's gonna replace the kennel but we've also got some home decor things coming in soon as well so stay tuned for that in upcoming videos After tidying up and sweeping, I love to spray this spray. This is the Miss Myers Peony Room Spray. Ugh, I love it. it. Smells so amazing. It actually gives me like spring vibes. Miss Myers has some really amazing scents on their website. Some of my favorites, aside from the peony, are the Compassion Flower. I love the rose and lilac i've also heard that daisy smells really good haven't had the opportunity to smell that one yet but if you like that one let me know or if you have some other room sprays that are some of your favorites let me know in the comments below Right, lastly I'm gonna go ahead and get those pillows on the couch make sure they look nice and pretty and presentable they got my approval I'm gonna give a little bit more spray just behind the couch and really that's it for this video thank you so much for tuning in let me know what you all think did you feel like it was too fast are you feeling the music the vibe really appreciate it can't wait to see you all again make sure you like and subscribe below